Many of y'all probably know, but if you don't know, Alliance Delta is the newest travel trailer line to hit the market and it is amazing as it is. And now we have this awesome rear kitchen model. So let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound. And if you are a returning viewer, I'm still here in Elkhart, Indiana, but we are here at Alliance's in-house private display. And talk about such a great setup. I mean, look at how beautiful their facilities look in here. And every time I come to visit Alliance, they are growing. Like they have a whole new massive plant behind this wall here that goes back like four football fields. It is huge. That wasn't even here last time I came here. So they're growing like crazy. And I'm really excited to be here and show you this new Alliance Delta travel trailer. This thing here, first of all, just looks so good. I love when they're doing these um, LED lights up front with the diffuser bars on them. They look really cool. They have that glowing effect. Beautiful fiberglass front cap up here. And then it has your skirt right here. Two 20 pound propane bottles, power tongue jack spot for batteries. And then as you come down here, one of the first things you notice that's just a little different from the Alliance Delta is you're going to have this straight pass through storage compartment. And then it's just absolutely huge in here. Very tall because they are doing a drop frame down here. So that drop frame makes this space huge. It comes with this table and you can see here, you'll be able to pull this picnic table out. So it's going to have that table there spot to store that. And you have some really nice conveniences here like awning switches. There's two awnings on this travel trailer. Oh, I didn't even notice that. They put two awnings on this travel trailer. So you have almost the entire length of this travel trailer with awning coverage. That is really nice as well. Love that feature. I love that. That is so cool. And that's pretty much everything out here. Um, outlets and USB ports. Plus you have a USB type C connection there. Your light switch for your front cap. And you also have a, sp a hot and cold spray port. So you can, um, there's a, uh, knob over there that is going to allow you to control the temperature of your water that goes to your spray ports. So the reason they put this hot and cold, and if I can figure out how to open it, I don't want to break anything. I haven't played with this too much and I just got here. Um, but you set the temperature for what you want your spray ports to be for the whole unit and it, you can get hot and cold water out of there where most other brands are just going to be cold water. So it looks really good. I like the color scheme on it as well. Going to look good behind just about any truck. You're going to have manual stabilizers down underneath here. With the manual stabilizers, you need to just get a drill that will connect to there. That will shoot down super quick and easy for you. And then down underneath here, you have a fully enclosed underbelly. All your water tanks and water lines sit above that enclosed underbelly, above the insulation, so you can camp in colder temperatures. This here, we get a look at the floor plan layout for what we're looking at. It's 33 feet, 11 inches long, and 7,156 pounds dry weight has an 800 pound hitch weight. So there are some half ton trucks out there in the market that definitely can tow something like this. You just gotta really pay attention to that hitch weight and know what the cargo capacity or the payload capacity is on your truck and just make sure it's well above that and that you also have room with your cargo or payload capacity on the truck to accommodate for people in the vehicle, um, any cargo you put in the bed of your truck, stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead inside in just a second. Just wanna show you everything on the outside real quick. You do have these Doors that open up, not like you would normally see on an outdoor kitchen, but this gives you the ability to have this countertop space in here and your outdoor TV there with a light in that space. Looks really good. Again, awning is going to cover that portion as well. So you have awning coverage, awning coverage over your grill and griddle cooktop. And look at how huge this grill and griddle is. That looks great as well. So this part, these will fold down. That way you can store it back into that space. And then as you come back here, a ladder to get up onto the roof and look at this ladder. First of all, I love that they're not going with the lipper retractable ladder option because that's gonna be a third party accessory that you're gonna have to purchase. It's not even gonna come on any of the units that are equipped that way. This here has an actual in place ladder and you can see here they have a nice graphic to show you the way they kind of designed it to be able to hang things like towels on here as well. So this is actually wider than the width of a standard bath towel. So you can hang towels on there. So what a great clever idea with that. 300 pound accessory hitch here off the back. And as we come around to your non camp side, looks really nice. You have a rack and pinion style slide mechanism here. 
And you have Goodyear Endurance American Made tires on here as well. Because it's a rear kitchen, it looks like this is going to be a gray tank dump valve there, probably just for your kitchen sink. And then black and gray tank dump valve for your bathroom will be up on the other side of the axles. And that is everything just about on the outside. Um, a couple other things too that I uh, want to let you know, like I just heard, I was talking to Joe, he's the marketing director here for Alliance and like they're building a whole booth here at Alliance that's going to be like a rain tester essentially. So it's basically like they're going to give every RV a shower before it leaves so that they can test and make sure there's no water leaks or anything like that. So a lot of nice stuff they do here at Alliance to test things before they leave the factory. Now, as we walk inside, be ready to let me know what you think about this travel trailer down below in the comments, and then make sure to like the video as well. This here, it is a 294RK, has an Asdell sidewall, so you have that composite panel sidewall in here. And as we walk inside, Real quick, before we step inside of this RV, there's something that I'm really excited to talk to y'all about and I actually wanna ask you for a favor. So if you've been here for a while, you know that I pretty much never ask y'all of anything, but I'm going to right now because I started my second YouTube channel, which is called Firmly Unbound. Firmly Unbound is the name of my company and Firmly Unbound is an expression of exploration and freedom in work, play, and faith. And I'm really excited about what's to come on this YouTube channel. There's a link down below in the description of this video and in the comments as well, where you can subscribe to Firmly Unbound. And I pretty much spent the whole last month traveling dang near coast to coast across the United States to show you what it means to live Firmly Unbound. So some exciting video content is coming. Can't wait to see y'all there. great look in here it's not anything over the top with like the color scheme or anything like that it's a very good looking color very comfortable color and a very warm feel in here so if you like more of a warm feel this is definitely a brand to consider and take a look at because it, it it has a very warm feel in here and as you come back through here you have this huge rear kitchen space look at all that countertop space that you have in here very very impressive this is going to be like a wrapped tabletop here a countertop it's not a solid surface countertop and then you're going to have a stainless steel sink here with an off-center drain. So off to the side, you have your black faucet here. And then you're going to have all of these cabinets that are all... Is that... Ooh, it's not tinted glass. It's just like a black glass. So you won't actually be able to see into your cabinets, which I like that. And don't tell me. They did soft closed cabinets. So few travel trailers are going to have soft closed cabinets and I love that. Also worth noting as well, they didn't do a barreled ceiling. So it's a flat ceiling all the way across. That allows them to get bigger storage here on the side. Cause if you think about it, you have a barreled ceiling that starts to come down. You're now eliminating some storage that you're able to, or you're not able to build into doing a flat ceiling line gives them bigger storage space here to the sides. So also something really cool. And while I looked up, did notice you have a Coleman Mach AC in here. It is ducted on both sides of this travel trailer. So you can see right above my head, you have ducting coming this way and ducting coming this way. A nice big speaker here right in the middle in the ceiling. Then you'll, again, you'll have all the storage in here. Um, outlets are going to be up underneath the cabinetry. So you have an outlet there in the corner and let's see outlet here in this corner as well. You have all this storage down underneath this space you have the led lighting underneath your cabinetry these rear kitchens what's so nice about this just look at that oh just such a great idea but the rear kitchens they have so much storage in them and then as you get down underneath here i mean everything just looks really clean and well put together you have pull out door here let's wait for that other cabinet to close these are some pretty deep pull out drawers that you have down through here those are all going to be the same size Big storage drawer here underneath the stove and oven, and then three more pull-out storage drawers here. You're gonna have a Furion three burner stove and oven in here, and this is gonna be a standard RV size oven. You have a standard RV size microwave, and you do have a vent fan here to vent out smells while you're cooking. Storage here around the microwave. Just love the fact that they're soft closed cabinets. I was saying in another video where you know, if I was looking at two different models and they were just nearly identical and the only thing that was different about them was one had soft closed cabinets and one didn't, I'm obviously picking the one that had soft closed cabinets because I just always notice that and it makes a difference to me. You have your pantry there, so a nice good pantry space and that's your kitchen back in this area. Notice you have three windows all back through the space as well. And then as you turn to the right, 
You're going to have the Furion 12 volt refrigerator. So about the same refrigerator we're seeing in most travel trailers. It'll open up like so. And you'll have that there. I will say, I think Alliance, they need to go to the, the refrigerators that open from both sides. That would be nice. Cause I think especially in this floor plan, I could see it working out practically to have that refrigerator that opens from both sides that we've seen in some other stuff. As you come back here, I love that they packed in this storage space back through there. Love that. And then you have a three cushion sofa here. This really makes a big difference to me, having a three cushion sofa and giving you this space where, you know, most people will be able to lay down throughout here. Plus all three of these cushions look like they're going to recline. They will. Um, I just could see this pull strap there. So that'll show the middle one reclining. And it is, I will say it is pushed. Oh, there we go. Let's see. It's a little close to the sidewall, so it won't it's like lay all the way back, but the leg will kick out. So you'll have that recline function. Also notice like your flooring here in the slide out, it is uh, matching the flooring in the rest of the travel trailer. So that all matches there. You have outlets or sorry, USB ports on the side and you have a light on an off switch. Oh, we should have had that on from the get go. And for some reason that one doesn't want to come on, but that one might not be plugged in. But you have your light underneath there as well. And then this sofa here is going to be a pullout sofa. So this will be a bed as well when you need it. Going to make essentially like a full-size bed. Big windows all along this side. And with your windows, you're going to have a pull-down blackout shade. Same thing here. And then they have this thing here to show a taller slide room. You can see they push that slide box pretty much as close to that ceiling as they can. So the slide box here, it's probably about 5'11 or so. Also, when I look up into the ceiling, you can see too, they're using these lights in here that sit more flush with the ceiling. So that gives it a nice look as well. I definitely prefer those and like the look of those over like the puck lights that kind of are like a dome. Up in here, more storage. That's a big storage space through there. And finally, across from your recliners, this is such a popular floor plan too, because you get this um, TV viewing that is directly across from your recliner. So very comfortable. It's one of the few rear kitchens I've seen that has the um, bar stools here as well. And you get the fireplace that is going to be an electric heat source for you. Plus you have good storage down underneath here. You could fit quite a good number of things in that space. And there will be hidden storage back behind the TV. Like, look at that. And Alliance does such a good job because when you go look at an Alliance model on the lot, they're going to get stickers everywhere to make sure you don't miss anything. Let's come back this way. I'm going to go back to the bathroom. And this, even again, just a little detail. This wall is just like ever so slightly angled, which just opens up this space just a little bit more than if this was like a hard straight line. So you, I felt that difference right away before I even perceived it. And then through here, oh, look at all that storage. Right away, got great storage here in the bathroom. Even have this little spot here. Put toothbrushes in there, put a bar of soap there, whatever you may want to do. And then you have a rectangular shower. And because the ceiling height in here is so great, it's probably close to like, you know, seven feet. Maybe not, maybe it's not seven feet. I don't know. I have such a hard time judging height, but it's tall. It's got to be at least like six, nine, six, ten, I would think. And so when you step up this lip into the shower, yeah, it's probably about 6'3 to right here. And then up in here, you could be about 6'6 probably and still fit. And the shower head sits at a pretty good height. So I'd have to duck just a tiny bit to get underneath it being 6'2, but not a lot. And then you'll have your anti, oh, slipped out of my hand, your antimicrobial shower curtain there and it will have like a little squeegee effect on the other side so it'll just drain all the water out as that closes after you're done showering spot here to hang some towels you have a vent fan in here as well all this storage space back through here that goes very far back so have a good amount of space there love the handles they're using on these drawers just very simple and then down underneath here and everything just looks so clean in here Medicine cabinet storage up through there. And you're going to have your porcelain foot flush toilet here and a soft closed toilet seat. So I definitely appreciate that. 
is you go back to the bedroom. Definitely put a lot of attention in their bedroom. This is a 60 by 80 residential queen bed. Nice look back in here. Lots of storage. You're going to have the additional storage through here. And this one does have the second AC on it. They do this epoxy style bedside table. So it's really nice, has a good feel to it, and it does have hidden storage down underneath here. You're going to have USB type C charging ports and a USB type A charging port and an outlet there. Nice looking headboard, individual reading lights, and you have these little puck lights up above as well. So lots of lighting in the bedroom. Here you're going to have a removable shelf. If you want to remove that shelf, you have the clothing rod. And again, they have the you know, soft closed hinges there that they're talking about. Storage space up through here. Also underneath this hidden storage, you have your drawer there. And then they talk about how these drawers, they can hold up to 90 pounds in them because they're reinforced. So another big deal there as well. <laughs> underneath here, you have storage under the bed and this is going to be kind of a floating shelf that you have there, a floating drawer. And then finally come back here and you're going to have your additional wardrobe storage back through this space. So through here, you're going to have that clothing rod and two pull-out drawers. And in here, this looks like um, outlet and then connection to your wine guard antenna. And then if you want to do a TV in here, spot for a TV on the wall right there. So this is the new Alliance Delta rear kitchen. Very curious what you think about the floor plan layout, the style, the look, everything like that. Honestly, I have to tell you my favorite, I mean, there's a lot of stuff I really like with this travel trailer. The soft closed cabinets is a big deal to me, but I really like the exterior look and design of the Delta. I think it's just a very clean looking travel trailer. But y'all let me know what you think down below in the comments. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, live firmly on bath.